Hello guys, hope you are doing great. Sorry about my voice, I'm sick, but today I would like to explain what is better, a big division or two small divisions. And we are going to explain that in a combat test, but big divisions and small divisions are both important and to win this game, for example playing as Poland, as in this case, you need to use both big and small and we are going to also explain that. First I would like to tell you something, I've been asked why I use a so big UI, well that's because I'm technically blind, I cannot read, I use the magnifier a lot, and also use an OCR that reads for me, optical character recognition, General. and a text, text to speech that reads for me, so it takes me a long time <laughs> to play, but it's the only way that I can use this game using this big UI. Sorry about that, but I can't solve that. Also, probably you are in Paradoxian channel. This is my main channel, but I discuss content from all kind of content in Spanish, English, and different things. I try to specialize a new channel, English only. I call this one Tino Dua English. Very small. I will leave the channel in the description, so please subscribe there too, and hopefully someday this channel will be big enough, I will move all the content from Paradoxian to here, and will not speak any more of gaming in Paradoxian, and uh, only here. Thanks. Ok, when you should use small divisions? Small divisions allows you to cover a larger area using less resources. This is the game of resources, and as Poland you don't have many resources, and I need to put all my resources in the west front line, because if the enemy breaks here, I'm done. So in this case, I use full divisions in this salient, I use the elite divisions, defensive divisions, and on the other hand, in the conic server area, I use only regular militia, these are brigades, very very small, all militia, very cheap, but they only need to delay, because I have here my wind hussars, that is my elite unit, two divisions, and with them I already took Konigsberg, the port, so all these units are going to be out of supply, and as you know, a unit without supply cannot defeat even a small company. You see here that is red, but soon it will be changed to green, and they will start stop start losing men and with the wing hussars oh I'm going God. to destroy them very fast. So the idea is that I save from here resources and I put all the equipment that I do not use here, I put it here. Of course the same supply for remote areas like Africa you will be using here small divisions because you may lack supplies and the shop here is going to be done by the air force. I usually use the, the infantry to pin down or attack the enemy but the damage is done all by the air force. Usually you don't have opponents in the air here so they are great, great combination. So why big divisions are more efficient? Let's see an example. In this example it's exactly the same as small or a big division. I'm using 40 size wing hussars instead of 20 and mm, here you will no, notice no difference because I explain you how this works. Each hour this unit attack one of these two enemy divisions and this division will attack one of these two enemy divisions and same on the other side. So if they hit with 500 this division you will hit 212 points will do normal damage because they will hit the shield and the 300 remembers will do critical damage four times more. So this unit is going to be devastating on any of this unit, doesn't matter if it hit, hits this one or this one, it will be devastating. Then it will hit this, our unit will attack. If it hits this unit, the enemy will be already out of armor, so it will be 500 of critical damage and the unit will be destroyed. If the enemy is lucky, I will be hitting this unit and this unit will absorb 200 of my attack, but will be still be getting 300 of devastating critical damage. On the other side, the unit will be hitting 
48 against my 1800 breakthrough so no damage just 48 normal damage and this one doesn't matter if hits this one or this one because if you subtract 48 from this 1800 you will see no change so in this particular case using small divisions or big division doesn't matter when it does matter is in critical situation I and mean, let me show you another example let's see this other example perfect example let's assume that we are confronting these ones are the attackers or defender doesn't matter and because the, the defense is transformed into breakthrough if you are attacking and you use defense when you are defending so in this case you have a unit that is split in two that has an attack of 100 and the other half 100 and a defense of 100 and a defense of 100 on the other side we have a big unit that concentrates all the attack and all the defense so the values are going to be 200 and 200 because it will have double battalions than this one so it's the same in terms of cost in battalions and production but what happens this unit will attack with 100 points and will hit the defense 200 in the shield so it will be doing only 100 standard damage then this unit will attack and will be hitting the remaining 100 shield so it will be doing only another 100 damage so these two units attacking will be doing only 200 damage on the other side this unit will be hitting with 200 but will concentrate all the power in only one of these two so for example if you attack this one it will consume all the shield will be doing 100 standard damage and another 100 critical damage that is multiplied by 4 so in this case this one will be doing 200 damage and in this case it will be doing 100 plus 4 multiplied by 100 so in total it will be 500 damage versus 200 and this is why making big units for defense or for attack is far more efficient in terms of damage and dealing doing damage to the enemy let's analyze this attack and let's see how things are going to go in this case i have one big defensive unit that is improving i uh, i will talk about that later is incremental the size is going to be getting bigger as i get resources but i start with 300 damage i will take it to 600 damage later but this unit attacks with for example 170 and if the three together hits this unit they are not, not going to bypass the defense this one neither and this one neither because three of them have a pretty good defense so they are even safe but if i concentrate these three units into one i will be having 2000 defense so it's unbreakable on the other side this unit hits with 300 and they attack with just 64 so if i hit this one it will be doing more than 200 critical damage this one also it's going to be doing a lot of critical damage and in this case it has very little breakthrough so it's going to be taking a lot of damage let's unpause and see how they go down doing minimal damage but as I tell you if I concentrate this template instead of 3 1 much bigger it will be even better but as we talked before you need to be granular because if you do very big units you are not going to be able to cover the land line so you need units of all sizes and types to use exactly what you want in this part of the front that you need that kind of unit also i told you that the templates are incremental why because the most important window in this game is this one and here you have all the stock files that you have so for example if you have plenty of armor or plenty of artillery you took one of your templates for example this one and you edit this one or let's say that we are going to talk about into our elite defender let's say that you have a lot of 
well, we are already reinforcing this template with infantry, but as we get more artillery, we are going to add extra artillery here, and we are going to do a duplicate. So let's say that you only have, for example, just maybe, I don't know, 100 artillery, you can do this template and make a kind of super strong elite infantry we are going to save this one and let's say that you are going to be having a lot of trouble here so you change this elite division to super elite and we are going to do that now so right now about uh, three battalions of artillery are going to be going there and that going is going to be losing a very small amount of experience but since the, he's going to be dealing far more damage to the enemy he's going to recover the experience quite fast and they have armor bonus so it will be deadly for the enemy and for the guys that saw the last video the wing hussar this elite unit that i designed i would like to give you a correction this template is great. I started from here, here was the frontier, and they penetrate in an impressive charge from here down to here, and they are just win one tick from the capital of Germany, and they are almost out of fuel. This one has very little fuel, 99, but as you can see, they have tons of fuel, 2000, and this one also 2000 and that allow them to move there because they have horses that do not consume fuel so that 2000 2k fuel can be used only by the tanks and i conquer the capital and germany surrender and what i did to that template that i didn't tell you is let me show you the template here is the wing hussar well here is the flamer tank i added a special flamer tank and the flamer tank has many fuel tanks let's see the design flamer here it is and why i put all the flame yes i know that it makes not much sense use a flamer tank with <laughs> ton of, of fuel on top of it but don't know why they each of this one gives you a lot of extra fuel 100 each one and on the other hand if you put machine guns or any other thing they are cut and they suffer lots of penalties because this is a an auxiliary company but that penalty is not affecting the fuel tanks so it's kind of a useful useful way to add to add 400 more gallons and also if you add to the recon company these four gallons you are going to be having an extra 800 gallons that is a lot and back to the template as i mentioned incremental templates i al always keep duplicating and adding little bits that way i have several templates and i save a lot of experience military experience here and that allows you to use all the amount of resources that you have idle, idle here you do a specific template and you send all you have to the front line because you are going to need it okay guys hope i wasn't very confused if you like the video a like would be most grateful a comment also i enjoy comments a lot thanks for watching bye bye